hello welcome to my channel in this episode i'll be talking about how i retouched and color graded this image here so let me turn off these layers here yeah so this is the raw image i've already corrected the colors in camera raw I turn down the highlights, everything, open up the shadows too. So that is all that I did in the camera raw. And then I brought the image here. So I duplicated the background layer and fixed the background or our backdrop and then removed some blemishes. That is what I did on this layer. So I went straight into my frequency separation so that is my frequency separation here so i used the correcting tones layer to mix the skin tones that is what i used so all that i did with the mixer brush settings was So I turned on sample all layers and as you can see I always use my 30 30 30 30 settings and I turned off the high frequency layer that is how I started mixing the tones and it came out very well so let's see the before and after so there is our before and days after today my machine is running very slow i don't know why then i went straight into my dodge and bend so I've, I've added some contrast into the image using the dodge and bend layer too and then i whitened her teeth and eyes using my action here so where the magic is is the color grading let's see wow this is so nice yeah so let's go straight into the color grading folder and see the layers or the adjustment layers i used Okay, so I, I brought in a gradient map and then I sampled her skin tones and I maxed the gradient map onto her skin. That is all I did. So about the skin tone sampling, I just turned off the gradient map layer and then clicked on the gradient icon here, clicked here. It will bring out the gradient editor and then i sampled the shadows mid tones and then so about the sampling of the skin tones um, you create three points that is one for the shadows one for the mid tones and one for the highlights so you just bring your pointer down here and you see that it will change to a hand tool and then you click once it will bring out a point for you yeah so here that is how i created the points here so you click on the point zero that is the location zero and then you click on the color then you sample the shadow you come to the mid-tone the mid-tone should be at the 50 percent location you do the same thing here and then you come to the highlights so the highlights you don't have to sample on where the light is too much here when you sample you get a white color so you don't sample here you can sample here here to do but this side this side you get a white color so you can save it when you click on new it will save for you and then the masking tool i clicked on the layer mask 
and then it was white like this so i pressed on control plus i and it inverted to black and then i used my brush to to brush over the skin that is all that i did and then i changed the blending mode to color to correct the the color of her skin that is the skin tone and then i reduced the opacity to 20 percent that is what i did here and then i added a color balance so as you can see i've added more blues using the color balance so i added blues into the mid tones that is two points and then i added three of the uh, blues in the shadows too but for the highlights i added yellows a bit of yellows and let's see the before and then after yeah and then i i i boosted her skin tones to using the selective color here so let's see the before and after that is for the selective color so before and after so let's see what i did i worked on the reds i added more cyan and then i pushed in more yellows too but the yellows i i i reduced the yellows here and then added more cyan that is what i did and then for the selective color too too i added blues into the shadows yeah so i used the blacks and then reduce the yellow the opposite of yellow in the color grading you get blue so more blues as you can see yeah more blues so i added a bit of blues that is minus three and then i brought a photo filter adjustment here so i used a cooling filter lbb and then i reduced the opacity to 10. i went to another photo filter too then i used the warming filter to warm up the image a bit then i reduced the opacity to 10. And then my last two adjustments for the color grading was the levels and the curves so i brought in a bit of highlights yeah so the highlight was 255 i brought it to 245 and then added some shadows too yeah and then i reduced the exposure using the curves adjustment layer that is i selected the mid tone and dragged it down a bit because i saw the image to be overexposed a bit or it was too exposed yeah so that is all i did in the color grading so let's see before and then after you can try your hands on these adjustments i used and it will get you nice feel or tones yeah so that is all i did and then i use my sharpening action to sharpen the image i added my watermark that is all so it's a nice image let's see the before and after again so uh before and after wow thank you for watching this video uh, i'll be waiting for you in my next video don't forget to subscribe and like this video it's joy bye bye